In 2.10, we're given this geometry lines and angles question. We're told z is 50. And since these are parallel, that means this triangle is similar to the smaller one. So if this is 50, that means this must be 52. And since this is a straight line here, then y has to be 180 minus 50, which is 130. So that's 130. The question is asking us again, what is the value of x plus y, right? So we already found y, that's 130. So x, well, this is a triangle, right? So that's 180. This 90 plus the 50 plus something else has to equal 180. This 140 combined, 90 plus 50, we have 40 left. And again, this 180 minus 40 is 140. And so 140 plus the 130 equals 270. So 270 is answer choice D, and that's our answer. So in terms of concepts, you have to know that parallel lines like this with the triangle, these triangles look like they're similar, and they are because you're confirmed with this parallel, uh, with this 90 degree angle. So you know this is, this is similar. That means anything that looks so the same is probably the same angle. So this angle looks the same as, as this angle. Let's draw it out. This one and this one. And so this one's we're, we're told that it's 50, so that means this has to be 52. And then since this is a straight line, this 50 plus the y has to equal 180. That means y has to be 130. And then there's also this rule where you know this combination has to equal 180. And then this triangle, entire triangle, has to be 180. So in that case, the rule is that this, these outside ones, the ones that don't belong, that don't overlap, the z and the 90 degrees, they basically add up to the same as the external angle, which is this x. So the 50 plus the 90 equals the 140, and that's how you get x. So combining x and y is just 140 plus 130, and that's 270. As a recap, we got a triangle question, and we found that two of the angles are exactly the same. We applied that and then combined it with a straight line that straight lines have to have 180, so that means y has to be 130. And then also applied the external formula, which is basically the external angle, x, has to equal the inside angles, 90 degrees plus the 50 degrees, in order to make sense. And that, that got us to x equal to 140. And then from 140, combining with 130, you get 270.